So now we can also make use of levels function in order to rename our vectors. Okay. So what do I mean by that? Say, for example, we want to say for poor, we want to have negative average remains average and good that is a positive response. Okay. So if I say levels, right, and I pass on vector ratings. So this will return the, the, the levels of vector ratings. Right. Now, let's say I want to convert these levels so I can say levels factor ratings and now I'm going to say say for poor it's negative and for average it's going to remain average and now we have the last one which is positive. So in this way I can now run vector ratings and observe that in the place of poor we have negative, average and positive. Okay, we can use levels function. So we have used levels functions to change the names of existing levels to unique equivalent levels. Okay, we can also use this function to reduce the set of levels. Okay, say for example, we are interested in which elements were negative and we were not interested in whether it's average and positive, right? So we can relabel those vector levels as others. Right, because we are only interested in negative. Right, so let's demonstrate that. Say, for example, in this case, we can relabel this as say, this is just other, and this is um, other. And, and if we run vector ratings, we can observe that we now have only two levels which is negative and other right 